the joys of having a cat. Hello everybody, I'm Anna, one of the two mythical unicorns. Welcome to our channel and to this video. It is great to have you here. Today I will be talking about the second week of NaNoWriMo. And the second week has not gone as well as the first week. First week I kept up pretty well. I wrote the words I was supposed to in the end, even though I went away for a few days. Second week has been, has been fun, but a bit more of a struggle. I haven't felt that well. I've had a cold, I've had headaches, which means that I haven't written as much because my head hasn't been on straight. Do keep it simple. Uh, there was actually one day when I didn't write at all. After 14 days, I think you're supposed to be at 23,300 something, and I'm at 20,500. So I'm not that far off. I've still made good progress. I feel good about the project and what I'm writing. So I'm not really worried, even though I'm a little bit behind, because I know that since I'm doing everything chronologically, I know that I've been building things up and things are gonna get more interesting from now on. It's gonna be the climax and that is gonna be more fun to read and it's gonna go faster. I'm gonna be more motivated to write that. Last week I said that writing chronologically was one of the struggles that I had, but this week I felt that it's kind of a strength too, because that makes me get over the obstacles quicker, because I think it's more fun to write the climax than the build-up, which means that most of the time when I'm writing a project, I, I begin a little at the end, at the beginning, and then I go to the end, and then I write the end, and then I write the middle, and then I write the interesting parts in between, and then I'm stuck with just the ordinary things, the things that ground the story. And now I'm just getting that out of the way. I don't get stuck in a particular place because other times I can sit down like six, seven times and try to read, write a scene and I'm not getting anywhere. And that makes me lose motivation to write that particular scene, even though it's really important. And now since I can't do that because I need to write chronologically, I just get it over with and then it doesn't feel as bad and then I can look forward to the next day when I get to write something new. So I think that, yes, it's a struggle because I have things that I want to write, but it's also going really well because of it. Another struggle I said that I had was writing in English. It's the first time I'm writing something this big in English and it's still going fairly okay. I mean, word corrects me when I spell something wrong or if I accidentally use the wrong word, it goes to this little blue line telling me that, yeah, maybe this was not what you meant. But otherwise I think it's going well. I'm getting more used to it. It doesn't take as long to get the sentences out. So that's really nice. So the struggles that I've had they're, they're going pretty well, even though they're still there. But this week, the struggle has more been to find motivation, to get past the headache, to not say yes when Alex asks me if I want to watch a movie or anime instead of writing when I'm really tired. So that has been more the struggle this week. But I'm not worried about being behind. Not only because it's the fun things that begin now, it is also because the last weekend in November, Alex is not gonna be home. He's gonna go away with his friends, I'm gonna be alone, and it, I can just spend the entire day right. And uh, that is gonna be awesome. Just writing all day. <laughs> I look forward to that. That is gonna be good. Also because I tend to write better and feel more inspiration during the evenings and now I've, I've had a hard time writing in the evenings because there's someone there trying to get attention and wants to do things 
with me and sometimes it's hard to say no so yeah i'm not really worried i still feel like i'm doing good progress so the story has taken a turn that i hadn't planned for so i had this fixed image in my mind how luca was supposed to be the male lead character like and through some turn of events while writing he's now in a completely different way and i feel like he has gotten more depth and he's more of a whole character but that thing like the air around him that i felt was defining him when i thought about this idea for a year before beginning to write uh, that guy i kind of lost that he became someone else but that is what happens when you write i also feel like i've gotten a better story like it's still the main plot is still the same but there are a few things that have changed and gotten more serious or gotten more developed and that is great for the story and i did not really see it coming <laughs> on my own so that's really nice and a really good development i feel but i wouldn't have gotten this far without that one person that still reads what i post every day still comments on whatever it is i have written and posted on wattpad so to that person whoever you are i am eternally grateful uh, for your support and just for you being there and reading it means the world to me and if there is anyone else out there that is writing and doing nanowrimo i would love to know what your process is how your progress is going what do you struggle with what do you think is easy like anything do you need a pep talk let me know in the comments down below because i would love to hear from you and i think that was it please support our channel by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already and until next time bye